Hi folks, here we are, Collins Model Railway. What have we done today? We have taken the layout up and the timbers, as you can see. And what have we done? We've added a few extra storage boxes down here, or cubes. And we've put a few down here as well. Now then, what my plan of attack is for you now, is this section from the corner by here, up to the corner to the right in the distance which is about 10 foot 9 roughly in length it is just over 4 feet wide here about 4 feet 3 inches wide it taper it back down to 3 foot by year back out to 4 feet by year and to use this section here then as my digital layout and as you can see I've laid some tracks already here just as a temporary measure, just to see how things are going to come around. And I've got a few here as well, roughly where they're going to be. When I actually put the track down, as you can see, there's a couple of side ends branching off there from the main tracks. We shall rectify them a bit more as we go along. Now then, as you can see down by here, we have virtually everything stored up along here, all the rolling stock. Now this by here I plan to make this a storage area for carriages, rolling stock, wagons, coaches and what you name it. And down here, down to the left, the other part of the layer. Now this is about 4 feet 3 inches wide here, roughly 8 foot long down to the corner by here. We plan to make this about 4 feet by here taper it down to about three by here and then bring it back out to about four foot there and we shall keep this as our analog section because I have about 14, 16 analog locomotives now sometime in the future I plan to connect the analog into the digital but first off we'll have to get all the analog locomotives digitized now then, I shall show you now the analog locomotives I got. Here we are, some of my analog stock on the traps. By here we have a class 47. This one is County of Norfolk. I've had this around about 25 years. By here we have Flying Scotsman 4472. I've had this one around about 25 years also. By here, we have Neath Abbey, 5090. I've had this one around about 25 years also. In the foreground by here, we have two Hymek class locomotives. I've had these ones around about 35 years. And by here, one of my oldest locomotives. I bought this 1976. This is 4472 Flying Scotsman and over here in the background not sure you can quite see it GWR class locomotive sadly not working anymore that one is around 40 years old as well now we shall show you a couple more this one is an analog locomotive also this one is 8509 LNER 460 and this one is around 40 years old. Here we have the original livery of the Intercity 125. Now these I have had around about 35 years. They both still work. One's a drive car, one's the dummy car. And by here we have the Intercity 125 with the swallow livery. Now these work as well and I've had these about 25 years. Uh, in the background you may well notice an old gauge coach and you may well notice the old gauge locomotive. And they both work. I haven't used them quite a while but I intend to use them in the near future.